What's going on guys? Angel here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about what I think Kings Dominion could be getting for 2025. Not 2024. I don't think that's going to be more of a chill last year because 2025 might be one of the largest investments at Kings Dominion. As most of us know, the entrance is looking pretty dated. Some people actually really like that older style entrance. Me personally, I really like the way the new entrance for like Cedar Point and Carowinds look. I think uh, Knott's also has a kind of solid entrance as well. Same thing for uh, Worlds of Fun. They all kind of have a really nice entrance. Kings Dominion and Kings Island, on the other hand, they are definitely looking dated. I personally think Kings Island will probably get a new entrance really soon as well. That's definitely one of the things on the list that I think Kings Dominion will be getting for 2025. The next thing is obviously the coaster. We already saw the leaks. If you haven't seen the leaks yet, it's looking like it's going to be a launch wing coaster. Not just a regular wing coaster, but a launch wing like Thunderbird at Holiday World, which I have yet to ridden. Hopefully I'll be riding it next year at a uh, Hollywood Nights. I do hope to get there if I can get a ticket for crying out loud. That is pretty much what the park needs. Something with inversion, something with a launch, and not, not just a regular launch. I'm talking about a real launch, something faster than Flight of Fear. And last thing, something that can hold a lot of people. And honestly, that would be a wing coaster. I wouldn't suggest them obviously doing a dive coaster because they already we already got one literally an hour and a half away from us at Busch Gardens Williamsburg being Griffin. And then Dorney Park is literally like another three hours north of here or three and a half hours, four hours north of here. And they'll be getting Iron Menace. So that's kind of out the picture. So honestly, the wing coast is really pretty much like the best thing they could do besides maybe like another invert, which most parks have one of those now. Now, obviously with that new coaster, you know what they like to add. They like to usually add one more type of flat ride or they're more than likely gonna add some more restrooms because that is much needed there. And honestly, they'll probably get a Coke refresh station in that area also. I wouldn't be surprised if they also add a store for this wing coaster because Volcano, the blast coaster, actually used to have a uh, store as well. This one, I really don't know if this is gonna happen or not, but I really want it to happen. Please pay the parking lot. Oh my gosh, that is probably one of the worst parking lots I've been to, at least in the Cedar Fair chain. It's just, it's rocky, man. Like it feels like you're on one of those like older roads that just hasn't been paved in a while. There's a lot of gravel just everywhere. I'm surprised people don't really get flat tires just because there's so much loose gravel. Like there's a lot of loose gravel uh, on our parking lot, or at least at my home park. There's a lot of gravel everywhere. There is a large portion that's paved, but it's just really old and you can tell they tried to patch potholes and whatnot. And weather is the main one to honestly blame on really why the parking lot looks the way it does. And also us because we're driving over it constantly. So yeah. Now, Old Virginia, they actually got rid of their restaurant. I don't know if this is gonna be for 2024 or 2025, but I think they're supposed to be getting a new restaurant there. I don't know what it's supposed to be as far as a food option. It could be maybe Mexican or something. I don't know. Like. There's a lot of options that they can honestly go with because Kings of Man actually has one of the best probably like food plans in the chain right now, at least for a Cedar Fair Park. Last but not least, Intimidator 305. What is going to happen with Intimidator 305? Honestly, I don't really know. My personal suggestion is either they're going to renew it or they're going to rebrand it. It's one of the two that's going to happen because it needs a repaint really bad. Parts where the ride looks pink, there's parts where you can see the primer. It's pretty bad. Like you can see literally the white the white primer of the paint. It's it's really bad. As far as what they could honestly rename it or rebrand it to, I personally would like it to be kind of like a snake just because it really slithers like a snake. I mean, the turns and everything, I guess maybe they could theme it to some other type of race car. I don't know, because there's, you have Backlot already there and then you have an alien ride in a jungle expedition, which, <laughs> you know, that's, part, that's the part that really doesn't make too much sense. So obviously, I think they may honestly rebrand it or retheme it soon. I just don't know if that will be for 2025 or not since they're getting a coaster. I don't know, that may be like the following year or something. Let me know in the comments section below what you think Kings Dominion will get for the 2025 season. Obviously that will be apparently its 50th anniversary on top of that. So I think they're gonna go big on this one, which I'm happy about because it's needed. It's time that this park honestly just gets that big thing. It, it needs it, you can tell it's missing something. With Intimidator and Twisted Timbers being there, we just need one more thing. With this investment, it will probably make it in the top three of the Cedar Fair chain. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, peace out.